In a quiet inland city in southern China, something remarkable has just come to light, and the entire world is watching. Hidden beneath the hills of Huanan in Guangdong province lies what's now confirmed as the world's largest rubidium deposit, a metal so rare and so valuable that its total estimated worth is around 80 trillion RMB or approximately 11 trillion dollars. That's more than the entire GDP of Japan. And here's the kicker. This isn't gold, silver, or even lithium. It's rubidium, a little-known but critically important element that plays a key role in some of today's most advanced technologies. The scale of this find is nothing short of unprecedented. We're talking about 180,000 tons of rubidium ore concentrated in a single location. For comparison, most countries don't have even a few hundred tons in their entire reserves. Now, with this one discovery, China controls over half the global known supply. But this story isn't just about geology. It's a seismic shift in geopolitics. Rubidium is no ordinary mineral. It's crucial to atomic clocks, global positioning systems, aerospace engineering, and next-generation military communications. And suddenly, control over this strategic material has landed squarely in the hands of a single country. So in this video, we're breaking down the rubidium revolution what it is, why it matters, and what China's mega-discovery means for the future of global influence. Rubidium is a soft, silvery white metal that belongs to the alkali metal group, alongside lithium, sodium, and potassium. But unlike those more familiar elements, rubidium is extremely rare. You won't find it in your phone battery or kitchen salt. It hides deep inside minerals like lapidolite and mica, often in tiny, trace amounts. Here's where things get interesting. Rubidium isn't just rare, it's strategically irreplaceable. Let's start with its most famous, use atomic clocks. These are the most precise timekeeping devices on Earth, and rubidium is a key component. These clocks drift by just one nanosecond, that's a billionth of a second, making them essential for accurate GPS. Without rubidium, your phone wouldn't know whether you're at your front door or three streets over, but that's just the beginning. Rubidium is also critical in PET scans for cancer detection, space propulsion technologies like ion thrusters, infrared detectors, and military-grade optical sensors. It's found in aerospace systems, advanced communications, and defense equipment. That's why scientists are calling rubidium the gold of the 21st century. It's not about ornaments or cash. It's about power, precision, and technological edge. The problem? Almost no one talks about it. Until now. Thanks to China's historic discovery, rubidium is finally taking center stage. And behind the shine of this rare metal lies a much bigger conversation about global strategy, technological dependence, and rising resource rivalries. Now that we understand rubidium's importance, the next question is, why is it so rare? Unlike more familiar metals like gold or copper, rubidium doesn't show up in big, shiny veins underground. It's what geologists call a dispersed element. That means it's scattered in very small amounts throughout other minerals. Imagine trying to recover sugar that's been dissolved in a swimming pool. That's essentially what rubidium mining looks like. Even when rubidium is present in a mineral like mica or lepidolite, extracting it isn't easy. It takes complex chemical processing and that doesn't come cheap. There's more. Rubidium is highly reactive. Expose it to air and it oxidizes rapidly. Drop it in water and it can explode. That makes storage and transport difficult. It needs to be sealed in vacuum containers or surrounded by inert gases to keep it stable. All of this makes rubidium both rare and dangerous to handle, which drives up the cost even further. And here's the kicker. The world currently produces just four to five tons of rubidium each year. But global demand is closer to 15 to 20 tons annually. That's a supply gap of nearly four times. In other words, demand is soaring and supply can't keep up, which is why China's discovery of a site containing 180,000 tons of rubidium ore is an absolute game changer. Until now, no country had a meaningful strategic edge in rubidium. It was simply too scarce and too scattered. That just changed. Let's zoom in on the site that's turning global resource politics upside down. Welcome to Huanan City in northeastern Guangdong a quiet, agriculture-based region known more for rivers than riches. But now, it's home to one of the most valuable mineral finds of the century. This single rubidium deposit is estimated to contain about 180,000 tons of ore. 
Of that, roughly 12,000 tons are ready for immediate extraction. That's already more than double the current global supply. And it's only the beginning. The remaining reserves are still underground, waiting to be developed. The estimated market value of this find? Around 80.5 trillion RMB, or about $11 trillion. That's more than all the oil Saudi Arabia exports in a decade. And it's not just rubidium. This deposit also contains massive amounts of gold, silver, selenium, tungsten, copper, lead, and zinc, a rare earth jackpot. But what truly makes this discovery unique isn't just the quantity, it's what it represents in a world increasingly shaped by high-tech infrastructure, space exploration, and digital warfare. This isn't just the largest rubidium deposit ever found. It's the first known independent rubidium mine in the world. That means the rubidium isn't being pulled up as a byproduct of some other mineral. It's the main resource. And by mining standards, that's almost unheard of. Most deposits are considered huge if they contain even 2,000 tons. This one? Nearly 90 times that and it signals something even bigger. For the first time in history, one country now controls the majority of the global rubidium supply in one place. For China, this isn't just economic value. It's strategic leverage over industries, over supply chains, and possibly over the future of critical technology. Now that China has locked in the largest rubidium deposit on Earth, the world is asking, what comes next? For the United States and its allies, this isn't just an impressive discovery. It's a strategic vulnerability. The United States produces almost no rubidium domestically. As of 2019, over 95% of its rubidium imports came from China. And although Washington designated rubidium a critical mineral back in 2009, little has been done since to secure an independent supply. Why does this matter? Because rubidium isn't some obscure element for labs. It's embedded in our GPS systems, used in spacecraft propulsion, military-grade communications, precision medical imaging, even emerging AI and quantum computing platforms, technologies where microsecond timing matters. Depending on another country for rubidium is like outsourcing the engines in your fighter jets or the microchips in your defense networks. It's a national security risk, and now it's a very real one. So now countries like the United States, Canada, and those in Europe face a hard choice. Do they pour resources into developing their own rubidium supply chains or continue to rely on China and risk being locked out of next-gen innovation? This is no longer just about minerals. It's about who holds the keys to tomorrow's technology. China isn't just sitting on this giant deposit. It's already building an entire industry around it. Finding rubidium is just the start. The real challenge and opportunity is turning it into usable components at scale. And China is moving quickly. Engineers are developing new extraction methods that not only improve efficiency, but also cut carbon emissions and reduce chemical waste. That means China isn't just mining, it's refining, upgrading, and doing it cleaner. But that's just the first layer. By 2025, China aims to have a complete rubidium supply chain in place covering everything from mining and processing to manufacturing and deployment across sectors like aerospace, medicine, and defense. They're also researching ways to recycle rubidium from used electronics and industrial waste, a move that could stretch their reserves even further while minimizing environmental impact. In short, China isn't treating rubidium like a lucky find. It's building a long-term strategy around it one that could make the country the world's dominant supplier of a critical material for the digital age. While others are still debating how to respond, China is already setting the pace. With China holding the world's largest rubidium stockpile and rapidly expanding its capacity to extract and refine it, the global playing field is shifting. This goes far beyond mining. It's about who gets to lead the technologies of the future. Rubidium powers the backbone of modern systems, satellite navigation, deep space communication, high-speed data networks, and quantum computing. Whoever controls the rubidium supply will, in many ways, control the rate of global innovation. Which brings us to the crossroads. Will this discovery trigger cooperation or confrontation? On one side, China has said it wants to act as a responsible global player, sharing tech, promoting sustainability, and encouraging international partnerships. But history tells a more cautious story. 
When a nation gains overwhelming control of a key resource, whether it's oil, semiconductors, or rare earths, geopolitical tensions tend to follow. If export controls tighten, trade restrictions rise, or rivalries heat up, the world could find itself in a new kind of race, where critical materials like rubidium decide who leads and who lags behind. What happens next depends on how other countries react and how quickly they're able to adapt. But one thing is clear, rubidium is no longer some niche material hidden in geology reports. It's now a strategic asset, one with the power to shape everything from national security to the future of innovation. As one expert put it, whoever controls rubidium today could control technology tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you found this story insightful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Here we unpack the hidden forces that are shaping tomorrow's world, from emerging tech to global power plays. Stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video.